All right. It's time for another Starbase summary. If you found us from across the internet, we do this a couple times a week, talking about what's happening out at Starbase, kicking it off with that thing on the trailer. That is a leg for Pad B's launch mount. A lot of speculation about exactly how that's going to come together. If you stick around through the video, we'll see well, what they actually do with the thing. We've been watching that for quite a while. Remember, if you see something in the video that I didn't see, because I do tend to ramble on occasion, was that a truck? Was it like a, like a, like a truck body with an engine missing? <laughs> and then a, a hold down clamp? That is a very interesting uh, load combination there. But like I was saying, if there's something I missed, tell me down in the comments. I don't get everything. Y'all have a lot more eyes than I do. There was a ring moving around in the background, that nice little do not enter gate, making it a little easier for us to see what's happening way back there. Here we've got some pipes going in out there at Pad B for the uh, water system that's going to spray into the flame trench bucket diverter. Pick your poison, whatever you'd like to call it, uh, over there to make sure they can control the energies of the launch and they don't send concrete flying into the stratosphere? I don't know if it went that high. It went pretty high, though. Still cutting apart the high bay, that building that was the uh, high bay out there. Not big enough for them anymore, so they're going to make an even bigger bay. The ones in the backgrounds are mega bays. So the next one, if you're going down the order, would be giga bay. I think sometimes we accidentally skip and we say exa bay or peta bay or something like that. But anyways, they just keep getting bigger as they have more and more rockets. Got some air quotes around test tank 17. We put the quotes around it when we don't know absolutely for sure. Like we haven't seen a label on it or something like that. And I do call those air quotes. I made it with my hands. I did air quotes while I was uh, saying that out loud. A little bit of a pause here. Let's us look down the side of the tank to see the construction. The big ports in the side there. And all of the welds. Are those like markers on the welds maybe? I'm not sure. I'm seeing like the little white, they look like tape or something. Maybe they're marking something off there on the test tanks. But what you'll see is they'll put together uh, temporary structures like that. Hey, look, another hold down arm clamp. I don't know if you're supposed to turn there, buddy. There's no, they don't launch anything from there. They need, you need to go down the road. I could stand there just like with, you know, like the airplanes, the two batons, the orange batons, and like wave them down to the proper side. Is he going to do a full turn? I guess we'll find out. That super wide camera there. There's the tank in Star Factory at night. We are able to uh, see into those windows pretty well. They have it all nice and lit up, and they've covered half the side of the building with windows, ostensibly, so that we could see what's happening inside. And they can show off all of their well-lit rocket tanks and other hardware that they're working on. So, Jack out there getting this one. Press pipes. Okay. That is like in the back of the mega bay. You can see that structure. You see all the work platforms there? But these pipes are being lifted to a stand over on the right-hand side. It's not just that stand in the middle, but they can also tuck things into the sides of the mega bay there in the back. Looks like Jack has graced us with some gratuitous slow-motion spark footage here. I think Jack is on a slow motion spark kick. We actually have a video that's just like 20 minutes of some ambient chill music that Jack picked out and uh, sparks flying for 20 minutes. We just got to figure out when we'll have space to upload that to the channel. If you want the ambient spark video, let me know down below. Maybe that can help shake it loose, get a little bit of prioritization on it. Back in the background work stand moving around. You can see there's stairs on it, right? Going to lift this up. Trucks a little bit in the way there. Truck, move out of the way. You get it. No free advertising for Clement dump bodies or whatever the heck that thing is. Man, if you weren't looking at a truck, you'd really wonder what a dump body was, but whatever. Here is a flame diverter hat. Flame diverter hat. Rolling out of the pad. Now, is that the top of the flame diverter? Like, the that the rocket exhaust hits at the point of the triangle? Remember, there's sort of two ski slopes that uh, divert the flames in two directions there at that new flame trench that they're working on? And you get sort of, like, half your exhaust going in one direction, half your exhaust going the other direction. But is that 
that's really the very top of the flame diverter, and all the rocket exhaust is going to hit that directly? Or am I thinking about that wrong? I mean, it's got a huge pipe in it. Yes, massive amounts of water going to come out of it, I would guess. That's a weird tank. You know, usually don't see colorful things like that at Starbase. Usually it's all black and white and shades of gray. But that is a colorful, burnt orange sort of test tank. I don't know what's going on there. There's the crane they've been using back there to take apart the highway. Highway. High bay, actually. They take apart the hi highway in other places when they drive the trucks over it. But are they going to reconfigure, potentially? We'll see what else we get from the crane. There's a turntable exiting Mega Bay 1. Mega Bay 1's on the left. Mega Bay 2's in the back there. You put rings, uh, the parts that make up the ship, onto those turntables. You can actually spin them around so that they can be worked on on different angles, welding on sort of one edge at a time, and then you spin them as you work on them. Aha! <laughs> Here's the part where they take apart the high way instead of the high bay. Um, expanding it. We've seen a lot of uh, surveying work that's been done. Over the like months, actually, out there around Highway 4 on both sides of the road. And potentially here, they're going to widen it. They're going to expand it out. We've seen a lot of sort of plans around that. There's that second launch mount for Pad B. Or I guess it's the first launch mount for Pad B. It's the only launch mount for Pad B currently. Um, second launch mount they've built out here. Of course, they have ones in there, or they have one or that they're working on over in uh, Cape Canaveral as well. But see the massive pipes there on the side, moving some pipes around with their nice fancy SpaceX blind temporary covers on the ends. And of course, the whole idea is that they're flowing uh, massive quantities of water through that plate in an effort to deal with the energy, like carry the energy away, use the energy that's coming out of the bo bottom of the rocket to turn the water from liquid water into steam. That takes energy to do, and you can sort of suck energy out of the exhaust is not really the right terminology, but I'll, I'll go with it. It just deals with it by putting water in the way. There's the mural, the production site. A lot of comments last time on the holes in the high bay. Um, the general consensus with folks watching the video was that the holes are to let the wind go through because it has lost its structural stability, the bracing parts on the top, like the, the cap of the building, the top floors of the building. And so it becomes more susceptible to uh, high winds blowing it down. That's the turntable again. We already talked about that thing. Uh, so the theory, the thinking by folks watching the videos, office building, very interesting, is that the holes in the high bay make it so that that wind is less uh, force on the high bay itself. Now, the thing that I didn't really get was, oh, that's interesting. We'll get back to the holes in the highway. The polling place, that must be for the election, I guess, the election is the right way to say it, uh, where they are looking to incorporate the city of Starbase. There's a whole process you have to go through. They petitioned the judge, the court, whatever. They want to become a city. Of course, the air quotes, Starbase community reached out <clears throat> and uh, said that. But we will see. I have a feeling that the uh, election is going to pass with flying colors as the entire Starbase community, the vast majority of which who vote for SpaceX <laughs> or work for SpaceX, uh, will vote to become an official city out there. A municipality. There's right terminology in cities and towns, and that sort of stuff can mean different things. And I skipped a couple clips there, but that happens on occasion. We'll need a little bit more time to explain one. We're just looking back over at the production. That's not the production site. That's the launch sites. Duh with the second tower in the foreground and the original tower in the background, if I was looking at that correctly. Did I say it backwards? Now I'm second-guessing myself. In any event, scroll back and tell me if I got that wrong. Sometimes it happens. See, I'm not allowed to rewind. When I watch these, it's one shot. I talk through it. I say what I see, like one, two, three, four, five, five cranes, six cranes. That's a boom in the foreground. I just say what I see on the screen. I talk a little bit about what I know. I don't know everything. I don't have time to talk about everything. This is a shot <laughs> of the roundabout. Not a lot of roundabout in this shot of the roundabout. It's mostly the sky above the uh, roundabout. Here we've backed off a little bit. Jack's out there 
Not the most exciting thing to shoot, but still important. This allows uh, vehicles to turn around out there without getting stuck at the end of the beach road. Potentially some of the uh, trucks, the tanker trucks, will actually be able to turn around there as well. We will see. <laughs> like I was saying, I just talk. I just watch the video. I talk. It's one take. I just talk about what's happening. And there is the first OLM. Okay, that's the OLM leg. The LM leg. The leg. The LML. LML1. Whatever. Um, does this say your partner for hydraulics? So these are, <laughs> there's these big bolt patterns on the ground. They have these big prefabricated legs. They're using the massive crane, of course, to pick that big thing up. And uh, they're installing it there sort of at the corners of the launch mount. So look for more of those to come out there. Going to end it with some slow motion spark footage. Let me know what I missed. I know I missed some. My name's John. If I reply to you down below, you may see it as DOS. Big thanks to everybody out there catching stuff going on. Jack and the Starbase Live team. And appreciate you watching. See you again in a couple days. And we will see you nerds later.